Hi, this is Greg Hughes. Welcome to another 90 second website builder video tutorial. In this video, I want to show you how you can import a page from one 90 second website builder project into another one. So we're, we're going to be importing a page from one WBS file into another WBS file. Before I do, let me show you the website that I'm looking at right here. It's called .com Classroom. This is the file structure of this website. As you can see, I have it with an index page and a child page and a couple of child pages here and then just a pretty typical uh, site structure. I just want you to notice that because that's going to make sense here in a second when I go to import. What I'm going to do actually is I'm going to import a page from this project into a new project. So let's close this one up and open up a new project. Well, I can do that in one fell swoop by going File, New Website. And now I'm in a new project. It's called Untitled. And it has nothing in it, as you can see. And if we go to the Site Manager, you can see there's nothing here but the default index page. Remember, 90 Second Website Builder always starts you with an index page. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to import one page. So I'm going to go up here to the Page menu, because we're importing pages. Go to Import. There's two kinds of importing. I'm going to import a page from another project. This Import HTML page, that's about importing pages that are not 90 Second Website Builder projects. We'll talk about that in another video. But for this feature, I'm going to import a page from another 90 Second Website Builder project. So I select that, and it presents me with a window to locate my project in. So the project I happen to be working with was this one, .com Classroom. So I'm going to open that. And you'll see it presents me with that same structure. It found the file structure for .com Classroom and is presenting me with the pages. And I can import any one or even all of these pages if I want to. Now for this demonstration, I'm going to import just the index page. And I want to show you what happens. I'm going to click OK. And it's done. I have basically imported the page in a matter of seconds. But you'll notice over in my site manager, I actually still have my original index page. Let me double click on that, which is blank. And the page that it imported, which I called index from the other project, which 90 Second Website Builder called page one. Now, why did it do that? Here's why. Because when it imported the page, it found that I already had an index page and it didn't want to conflict with anything I was doing. So it gave me the imported page with the default name, page one. And so it's actually helping me. Now, in my case, I want this to be my index page, so it's an easy fix. All I need to do is delete this one, because that one's blank, and rename this index. So I'll go to Rename. Remember, I don't have to provide the extension. It does it for me. And so now here's my index page. But it did that because it doesn't want to overwrite any other page I may have been working on. So that's actually a really great feature. So as long as I'm importing pages that don't conflict with the existing file names, it will do that. Let me show you another example. I'm going to go back to the page menu and do an import page again. We'll go to that same project. This time I'll import a page that I don't already have a file for. So I don't have an ask.html or an ask.php. So I'm going to select this one, click OK. And you'll notice that when it imports this page, it called it ask, just like the original, because there's no conflict. And so when I go to my file structure, there's the index page that we just looked at. And then here's the ask page that was just imported. So as long as I don't already have a page by that same name, there's no problem. It doesn't have to create a subsequent page. But you can see that it's really easy to do. So anytime you want to move a page, or make a, you're really making a copy of it, and moving it into another website project, you can see it's very easy to do. Just go up to the Page menu, click on Import, and you'll find it's easy to do a 90-second website builder.